Chris, we talk about fighting wildfires because that pretty much happens now, right? Mm -hmm. We're setting up for that kind of weather, and that's been the kind of January we've had. Yeah, let's hope things change, especially, you know, the lower elevations. The mountains yeah. have been, they've been okay. They've been getting some snow, but we need some more. Take a look outside uh, here, and we'll get your day started with... Oh, look at that camera. That's a nice one. We're zoomed uh, toward Mount Evans. This is from the roof cam here at CBS4. And the skies over the high country, for the most part, clear. There are just a few little terrain-induced snow showers hanging up there. But I think we're going to have a pretty nice Saturday coming up if you need to do some traveling across our beautiful state. Temperatures right now, we're in the 30s here in northeastern Colorado, 20s in the southeast. The springs, you're at 40, a little wind down there, 4 above in Alamosa, 25 in Craig, 30 over in Grand Junction, and 21 is a little windy in Frisco. Joe, our weather watcher in Arvada, is 32 degrees at last check. A little windy here in some of the higher elevations right along the Continental Divide, and then on either side, the winds are spilling off, and they're at times getting as high as 30 to 40 miles per hour there around Idaho Springs. Other issue we're dealing with here, uh, we've had this for the last few mornings, western Colorado, those valleys, you have inversions, and that's trapping air near the surface and allowing some fog to develop. So we do have a fog advisory in the northwestern corner through 11 o'clock this morning. Future cast, just a couple of little here and there snow showers in the higher elevations today. Other than that, the rest of us will be on the dry side, just occasional clouds working through. And really, we could see a snow shower at any point in the higher elevations today, but it would be that, a Shower. We're not expecting widespread snow that would cause travel headaches for uh, your Saturday. Any additional accumulations up there, probably an inch or less, uh, unless you're on one of those favored west-facing slopes, and somebody could get a little more than an inch. Then our attention turns all the way to the Pacific Ocean. This is the next weather maker. It'll be coming into our neck of the woods by Monday. This is going to bring another surge of some cooler air to the state, mountain snow, and this time there's a chance Denver could see a little rain or snow. It just all depends on how far south this low actually tracks. Right now, we do have a little bit of rain and snow in the extended forecast. 50s today on the eastern plains, 30s up high, 30s and 40s on our western slope. Here is the five-day forecast for Denver. So, Joel, another beautiful weekend. We are in the 50s. Somebody east of the foothills may even flirt with 60 today and tomorrow. And there's that chance of rain and snow Monday, Tuesday as that storm system rolls by. But, you know, that's not a really sharp drop in temperature. So we're going to continue with this mild stretch of weather yeah. for at least five more days. That flirting somebody may be me. I'll flirt with 60s anytime. <laughs> okay. The mile high tree.